Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nico and today in this video I'm going to show you one of my favorite split tricks and my party tricks. Um, so, okay, let me show you. So we are going to do upside down split. You're going to go up and you're going to push it open and from here you can bend your leg and drop it down or you can actually go all the way around. So you go here, whoop, open up and you can go back, boom and hello yes so um of course to do this beautifully you do kind of need a split to be able to do split but don't worry if you're not that flexible and you're missing a few centimeters i'll show you a little trick how you can do it still pretty mm, so yeah without further ado let's go Okay, so how do we do this? Um, let me start from the very important, first very important tip. Look, everybody thinks that my hips are in the middle, so that this is what I do, right? I'll show you from the front that my hips are like this. But it's not true. What I actually do, you have to put your hips to the side, yes? So they're not here, because if you try to do this split like this, it's impossible. Or maybe, I don't know, for some people, if they're super strong or have like super strong wrists, they can. But the trick with this move is that you lift your hips up and then you twist. In my case, I twist to the right, yes? So I really don't know what's the best angle. I don't know what's the best angle, what do you think? For you, yeah, for you to see it. But make sure that you are twisting your hips either way to the right to the, or to the left. For me, my strong split is on the right leg, so my right leg goes to my face, and my strong arm is my right arm, and this is why I'm twisting my hips to the right side, yes? So you're here. Well, let's worry about the aesthetic things later. I will show you how to do it pretty uh, from the beginning till the end in a second, but let's focus on the most important tricks and move on from there. So yeah, you're here, you bring your hips up, and then push your hips to the side. Now. I'm resting with my booty on my right leg, uh, on my right arm, and my elbow is strong on the floor. Yes, if you're sitting nicely here, I think this is actually also quite cute shape maybe, and you're comfortable, then you can even put this arm on the floor. Yes, for a little bit more stability. So from the other side, it looks like this. We go up, I push my hips to the right side, and then this arm is just chilling here. Yes, from here, you're literally just going to open up your legs, boom, and actually, it's not like a straight split, so my legs are not in one line, but they are a little bit, um, how do you call it, twisted, yes, yeah, so you have to think about it like, like I just told you, your legs, like when you do the split, right, like normally, if you have proper split, your legs are in one line, but with this move, it's a little bit like this, okay? So they go a little bit, um, in Dutch we call it shape, but I'm, I lost one, the, the word in English, okay? Um, so yeah, let's sum it up. The most important rules, you bring your hips up. I'm showing you from the ugly side for you to understand. Push your hips to the side. Relax your arm. Right arm is on my elbow. Left one is flat on the ground. And then slowly, boom, stretch your leg. And especially the left leg doesn't go there, but it goes away. Boom. Yes. And then make sure that you stretch your um, knees nicely because bent knees are ugly and point your toes. Okay. Let me show you from the other side. Whew, it's heavy for your arms. We're here. Bring it up. Hips go to the side. Again, you can play with shapes a little bit. Try to arch your back. If you want, you can keep this arm here if, if you feel like it helps you. And stretch. Boom. Okay. Whoop. Oh. Okay, make sure that you warm up your wrists. Blah, 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 blah. So this is the move. Okay. How can you do it if you are not that flexible and your split is not full? Well, honey, what you can do you can actually just bend your knee. So you here, bring it up. You can keep one knee bent, boom. Or you can keep both bent. So you can like look in the mirror and try to play with shapes. But I think this looks kind of cute, does it? <laughs> okay, so here's your option. Or you can do the move that I just showed you like with arched back and bent knees. 
And the last thing would be, how can we get into it prettily and get out? Okay, so of course you have to be on your back on the floor. So for instance, I don't know what could be like before this. Let's say you are here with your bent uh, knees. You can go boom over your body, arch your back, boom, chaka, boom. Then you have to put your back flat on the floor and we're going to slow, slowly, we're going to actually in one go bring our knees, uh, legs up. So you go here, boom and cross. Yes. And then from here, boom. How do we get out? Well, like I showed you at the beginning, either way, you can bend this knee and let yourself fall. Boom. And from here, you can turn around, bend, boom, tick, and continue doing whatever um, is after in your choreography. Or you can reverse and you can roll to the back. So again, we were here. You can go down, boom, arch your back, tick, bring it up, boom and open up stretch your knees point your toes don't let this happen boom and then i bring it back boom and arch and then from here you can go i don't know boom 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 i don't know yeah so this is it this is like how you can start it and how you can finish after this um and yeah, I think those are all the most important tricks. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I'm forgetting. But actually, to be very honest, what I see is uh, as the most common mistake is that people try to um, do this from like the candle, you know, like from here. And they're like, oh, it's not working. Well, it's not working because your hips are not in the right position. So you have to twist your hips, okay? All right, I'm not going to keep you here any longer. I hope that this tutorial explains to you how to do this move and that now you can rock the upside down split if you use this move and if my tutorial helped you to do it please tag me in your videos i love to see you guys progressing and learning and looking gorgeous uh, and if you want to follow some more classes from me but you live too far or you're too shy remember that i also have online classes on my website the link is in the description and you have also as faithful YouTube subscriber, 50% discount, which is YouTube fans. And if you're ever in Amsterdam, please come through and follow one of my classes. I love to see all the wonderful queens from all over the world just dropping and saying hi. Mm, so yeah, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Sending you a million kisses from Amsterdam and I'll see you next time. Bye.